Hello and welcome students. Today we will discuss two more examples regarding the previous topic and we will change the topic today and derive one more equation. Let us see example number 2.5. What is given in this? A hollow steel tube 3.5 meter long. So length is given to you 3.5 meter. Has external diameter of 120 mm. So here you can see the cross section of the steel tube in this figure. The cross sectional external diameter is 120 mm. In order to determine the internal diameter. So what we have to determine this internal diameter we have to find. External diameter is 120 mm. The tube was subjected to tensile load of 400 kN. So load is given to you. P is equal to 400 kN. It is 400 10 raised to 3 Newton. And extension was measured to be 2 mm. Extension means delta L. So delta L is equal to 2 mm. The modulus of elasticity for the material of the tube is 200 gigapascal. So E is equal to 200 gigapascal. So 200 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per mm square. Gigapascal is converted into Newton per mm square. Length is 3.5 meter means 3.5 10 raised to 3 mm and the diameter of the tube is 120 mm. Let D equal to internal diameter of the tube in mm which we have to find. Actually it is given in the data. Find the internal diameter. Now what is the cross sectional area of the tube? So area is equal to pi by 4 capital D square minus small d square. External diameter minus internal diameter. So it means pi by 4 which gives the answer of 0.7854 in your KLC remaining values as it is. So this is the area in terms of small d where small d is unknown. Let us see ahead and extension of the tube delta L. The formula for delta L this is the formula delta L is equal to PL by E. Actually delta L is given already 2 mm. Rest of the things P is equal to 400 into 10 raised to 3. Length is equal to 3.5 into 10 raised to 3. Area which we have calculated in terms of small diameter is exactly equal to this. Here the bracket will close. Okay. Now E. E is equal to 200 into 10 raised to 3. So by simplification you will get this value on the right side of the equation. So now by calculating, simplificating or you can say the calculator will give you the answer of d square 9943.5. By doing square root on both the sides you will get d is equal to 99.71 mm answer. So this is the diameter inside diameter of the steel tube to subject the given load. Okay. So this is the example in which lots of formulas are covered. Let us see one more example. Example number 2.6. What is given in this example? It is given that two wires, one of steel and other of copper. Actually there are two wires now. So we will change the notations. Are of the same length and are subjected to same tension. Same tension means same force. So let us hope that diameter of copper wire DC is equal to 2 mm which is given over here. Diameter of the copper wire is 2 mm. Find the diameter of the steel wire. So diameter of the steel wire we have to find DS, diameter of the steel wire. If they are elongated by the same amount, they are elongated by the same amount means delta L is also same. Take E for steel as 200 gigapascal. So E for steel is equal to 200 gigapascal means 200 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per mm square. Modulus of elasticity for copper is 100 gigapascal. So EC is equal to 100 gigapascal is equal to 100 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per mm square. 10 raised to 3. Okay. Now what we have to calculate? We have to calculate DS. L equal to length of both the wires which is same. P equal to tension applied on both the wires which is also same. Now we know that area of the copper wire AC is equal to pi by 4 DC square in which DC is given to you. So pi by 4 into 2 square which gives the answer of 3.142 mm square. And area of steel wire AS is equal to pi by 4 DS square. 
but ds is not available to you we have to calculate ds so the term will remain in terms of ds in mm square now let us start with the formula of delta l delta l for copper is given by pl upon a all the values are for the copper only in the numerator pl will be as it is because the value is not given to you area of copper we have calculated 3.142 E for copper is given to you 100 into 10 raise to 3. So simplification will give the value like PL upon 314.2 into 10 raise to 3. Make it equation number 1. Let us now see what happens. Here it is the formula for delta L steel. For delta L steel again the formula will remain same PL upon E. PL will be as it is as the values are unknown. Area of the steel will be in terms of ds only as ds is not available to you what is young's modulus 200 into 10 raised to 3 so answer will be given like this pl upon 157.1 into 10 raised to 3 into ds square so this is equation number 2 since both the wires are elongated by the same amount therefore equating the equations 1 and 2 so equation 1 is like this equation 2 is like this from both the sides PL and this PL will be cancelled out making subject as ds square you will get the cutting and equation answer as ds square is equal to 2 by doing square root ds equal to root 2 equal to 1.41 mm so diameter of copper is 2 mm while the diameter of steel is 1.41 mm for both the values like load like length like elongation remains same for both the materials copper and steel so this is the different variety for which two materials are given copper and steel and we have to check for the same load for the same length and for the same elongation how the diameter for material is changing it means what copper is a weak material which requires 2 mm diameter to sustain the load while steel is a strong material which requires only 1.41 means 0 0.6 around 0 0.6 mm lesser diameter than the copper material so steel is a strong material which can sustain the large amount of load with the help of small diameter steel steel wire okay so here are the two examples which we have studied on the last or previous topic now let us calculate some new topic some new derivation okay so this is the most important theory deformation of a body due to self weight now suppose for example assume that this is the body a b this is the body a b is hanging from the free falling support like this from the fixed support at the top so it is known as the body hanging by means of self weight the length of the body is l upper corner is point a lower corner is point b in this body we have cut a small strip having length dx and this strip is cut out at the distance of x from the bottom of the body Consider a bar AB hanging freely under its own weight as shown in figure. Let some notation should be there. L equal to length of the bar. A equal to cross sectional area of the bar. E equal to Young's modulus for the material or we can say modulus of elasticity also. W equal to specific weight of the bar material. Now remember this W. What is this W? Specific weight of the material what is the meaning of specific weight specific weight means weight per unit cross section area okay means what if the cross section area of the body is 1 meter square then weight is w if it is 2 meter square then it is 2 w okay when the amount of cross section area increasing then per meter cross section per meter square cross section area the weight will be w so now total weight will become w a into x why this because w equal to specific weight it is per unit cross section area and per unit length so a and x will be multiplied read over here now consider a small section dx of the bar at a distance x from b we know that weight of the bar for a length of x so this is the weight of 
small element x this is the small length x you can see in the figure so i am drawing this figure and weight of this portion is equal to w into a into x is equal to w into a into x p equal to w means specific weight a means cross section area of the body which is which can be seen in the top view or bottom view only and x means this total length of the required portion of below dx why why we have taken this amount of p because this amount of p is actually acting on this strip so we are calculating the delta l for this strip only right now so we are calculating the load below the strip only okay let us check now elongation of small section of the bar due to weight of the bar for a small length x means delta l so delta l is equal to p l upon a now p means what so earlier w a into a into x l means what l means length of the small strip which we have cut so l equal to replace over here dx a remains as it is so cross section area cross section area will be cut out so answer will be w into x into dx upon t e. now this is the elongation of the small strip only this is the elongation of the small strip only but we have to get calculate elongation for the total body which is freely suspended from the top so for that just integrate this equation so delta l is equal to integration wx upon m to dx upon e now integration limit will be from 0 to l because the length of the total body ranging from 0 to l so that delta l is equal to w upon e integration 0 to l x dx so w upon e m to x square by 2 0 to l so answer will be delta l is equal to w l square by 2 a so that will be after putting the limit w l square by 2 a now w by a means what here you can see w equal to w into a into l. w means specific weight a means total cross section area l means total length so by multiplying these three values we will get total weight w okay total weight of the body so replace w into l w into l upon a is equal to w l capital w into l upon 2 a e you will just uh, check this relation then after you will get this equation of delta l capital w upon w into l upon 2 a e so now now one words what we will remember we will remember this formula for delta l in which w means capital w means total weight of the body l means total length of the body which is freely suspended from the top and a means cross sectional area of that particular body and e means young's modulus or modulus of elasticity in newton per mm square you must remember while doing the examples all the values to be replaced in terms of si units only like capital w is total weight of the body so it will be replaced in newton only l will be length of the total body so it will be in mm only a means cross sectional area of the body which may be rectangular which may be circular if it is rectangular then it is length into width which is given in mm square if it is circular then it is pi by 4 d square which is given in mm square e means modulus of elasticity which depends on material to material that's unit is newton per mm square so students now onwards we will start some cases so this is the case number one for which the body is freely suspended from the top now in the second case the body may be tapering circular tapering rectangular tapering okay so for different cases we will calculate delta n and thereafter we will do numericals based on each and every case so in the next lecture we will start numericals based on this particular topic and we will conclude some another topic some another derivation also so till then students goodbye and thank you very much for watching the lecture watching the lecture till end thanks a lot